The assembly has one more day to decide whether to advance a bill that battles forever chemicals. The assembly has its final floor session of the current legislative window tomorrow. It will take up a bill that the Senate passed in November that creates grants to help municipalities test for the harmful chemicals known as PFAS. Democrats have criticized it because it limits the DNR's ability to force landowners to clean up PFAS contamination would allow the process to move forward, but it, there's no enactment that can take place. Uh, before the, de the Department of Natural Resources can move forward with any type of enactment, mm -hmm. there needs to be uh, additional legislative review. And I understand the need for legislative review, but I also understand the fact that the people in French Island have been drinking bottled water for three plus years, and they're asking for us to get something done. The bill says in part that the DNR would need landowner permission to test water for PFAS and the DNR would be on the hook for cleanup where the polluter is either not known or can't pay. Governor Evers has reportedly told the Green Bay Republicans behind the Senate bill that the GOP doesn't want to hold polluters accountable and that Republicans should quote get serious about fighting the forever chemicals. It's unlikely Evers would sign the bill as is. In the meantime, PAF and Assemblywoman Jill Billings have introduced a bill that would allow the DNR to set limits on PFAS and state groundwater, but that's unlikely to speed through this session. Lawmakers